Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion and today I want to talk about what I've learned about Oblivion over making a bunch of videos. And this is really, really cool. So as you guys know, YouTube, you know, you post the video, you have the comment sections. And the comment section is very important for this. What I've noticed is that when making a bunch of videos, the comment section kind of acts like that friend where you talk about strategies with them, except it's the comment section, so it's a lot more people. And well, I just kind of noticed that um, I've learned a lot more about the game in the past couple of years than I have playing the game for however X amount of years that I have played the game for. Like, just from little things where it's like, I'm like, oh, high elves are best for this. And then the person's like, oh, did you know Bretons have magic resistance like this and da 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 and you combine these items and then they're invincible to magic? I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't know that. You know? Or something like... Man, I really don't like absorb health, and it's like, yeah, it's because it takes magic, and it did this, you know, little things like that, or, you know, all of a sudden I'm knowing, I'm kind of remembering some names of some items, right? Like Cruelty's Heart, of course I know Umbra, um, but just random things that I'm, you know, I'm learning a lot more about the game and efficient leveling, and I still think a Breton has 75% magic resistance, even though it's 50, you know, um, and it's really cool. I have noticed though making a bunch of Oblivion videos that <laughs> so, so weird, is that everyone, like, well, not everyone, a lot of people that comment about Oblivion are always like, Oblivion's better than Skyrim. Well, Skyrim sucks. Even though, like, on the surface they're kind of similar games, but even though deep down they're both extremely different games, and... I would argue that you can't even compare them to each other. Like in Oblivion, you can compare the Shivering Isles questline to something else and it will always be superior, no matter what. Some of this is my objective opinion is that the Shivering Isles is the best main storyline. But like Skyrim and Oblivion is just, no, they're not similar games and everyone hates on Skyrim. And I noticed that I was like, hmm, everyone hates on Skyrim. And I was worried about playing Skyrim. Then I started playing Skyrim and Oblivion at the same time. And I was like, wow, playing both of these games at the same time is really fun. So, that's what I got out of making Oblivion videos. And I've learned, you know, a lot about making thumbnails to videos, and specifically videos, because I've made, I've probably made, God, I haven't counted, but I've probably made three, about 300 videos on Oblivion. Like, there's probably a quarter of my video library is Oblivion. Whether it's live streams and, you know, just playing the game. And what I've noticed is, I've gotten good at Photoshop in a way where it's like, okay, take the 300 Oblivion videos. There's a style to the thumbnails, and keeping that style, style like consistent throughout all the Oblivion videos, but adding to it and changing it. And, you know, it started with... This was so strange to me. Um, it started with just putting text over the picture, right? I would just put text over the picture. I like this looks cool. Then I put my face in it and I take my face out. Then I found the font used in Oblivion in Photoshop. And I'm like, what better font to use than this font? Eventually I figured out I don't like using that font anymore. And I used that font and then I figured out how to make it look 3D and look like a paint blob and that was really cool. And then I switched fonts. And now, you know, there's a distinct style that I kind of used for the Oblivion videos a little bit that I use in my other videos and I start changing up. But just making videos about the same game and always changing the font up or changing the style up and like adding on to it, changing it, very strange experience, very cool. I like I like it because I can look back at like my old thumbnails and I'm like, yeah, these are, these are this is garbage. And you know, why did I learn how to how to like why did I learn how to make thumbnails for this game really well I don't know maybe it's because I made a bunch of videos on it you know so I noticed I'm like oh okay if you know you make a bunch of videos about a game you're gonna get good at making thumbnails for the game you know and it was a some it was a, like a side effect thing that happened to me it was a side effect and it was cool it was a cool side effect and so then I also try I've tried out many builds that I really never got deep into like different bows, uh, sneaking. I never liked sneaking until recently, and I've just been kind of experimenting with even more and more different types of builds and, you know, 
halfway efficiently leveling them up and things like that. And it's been a really fun experience. Just, it's made the game a lot more fun to me. It's made it different to me. I, I view the game differently now. I can view it from a casual's perspective. I can view it from a professional's, I'm going to use that in quotation marks, a professional's perspective, you know? You know, someone who knows so much about the game, like, it's, it's cool. I like it. But that's really it for this video, guys. It's just a video on what I learned after making Oblivion videos for so many years. I mean, God, whenever I uploaded the first one, that's probably, I don't even remember when. It's been that long, you know? So, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it post of whatever I decide to make.